It is my duty to inform you that the last host of The Hook, Andrew Rausch, is dead. Huh? What? That's right. Dead set on becoming president of America. Oh, you guys know I haven't voted in 20 years. years. Wow. Silence! It may take months and it may cost thousands of dollars, but we will use every resource at our disposal to find the perfect host for the hook. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. You wanna host the hook? Yeah, sure. Okay, great, get changed. We tape in five minutes. And just read the word. Oh, go, okay. Hello, UT, and hello, the world. I'm your host, Andrew Rosas. Fire. The most primal force on Earth. Since the beginning of time, fire has raised cities, powered engines, and provided a romantic backdrop for 70s soft rock compilations. There's a warm wind blowing the stars around. Tonight. Fire's been one of man's greatest friends and greatest foes. And for a while, the people over at Big Science thought they had it all figured out. Chemicals and compounds were used for decades to decrease flammability in all sorts of objects and materials. But as it turns out, these chemicals can actually bioaccumulate over time after they're released into our environment. And that's a problem researchers at UT are hoping to solve with new alternatives to traditional flame retardants. Dr. Christopher Ellison, associate professor at the Cockrell School of Engineering and his team have found a surprising natural way of battling the blaze with a substance called polydopamine. So professor, I bet my friend that flame retardants are everywhere. Does Paul owe me 40 bucks? Yeah, absolutely. Flame retardants are uh, all over the place. In fact, if you're sitting on your couch or uh, some kind of padded foam seating, probably 30 weight percent of that foam uh, is flame retardant. <laughs> Make that check payable to cash, Paul. So, what kind of chemicals are used now to keep our homes from being modestly decorated tinder boxes? A wide variety of chemicals that are used, and uh, the ones that reach, sort of, have attracted the most scrutiny are uh, brominated and chlorinated compounds. And these have uh, attracted the most scrutiny because they're found in, to bioaccumulate. For, so, for example, if you looked at uh, the content of these chemicals in ringneck seals in the Arctic, you'd find that it tracks exactly with the worldwide production of that flame retardant. Dopamine is actually a naturally occurring neurotransmitter that's released in our brains when we experience pleasure. It's also released when someone's on drugs like cocaine or ecstasy, giving a whole new meaning to the term stop, drop, and roll. So how did you adapt this chemical to unlock its firefighting potential? What we did is we put it in a polymeric form because we wanted to be sure that it would be a large molecule. A large molecule can't be absorbed by our bodies. Uh, polymers in general are not absorbed by our bodies. What are some of the future ideas and applications for this chemical? One of the areas we're really focusing on for sort of our future research in this area is uh, does this uh, effect that we discovered in the context of polyurethane foams, does it apply to fabrics, for example? Because there's a lot of fabrics that uh, contain a lot of flame retardants as well. Um, some of them, for example, are used in laboratories at the University of Texas um, as lab coats. They're, they have a, a, a flame retardant incorporated right into the fabric. People are really excited about these findings and the commercial potential for this research is very interesting. Who knows, maybe someday soon we'll be sitting on a couch made with some dopamine derivative. Sort of glee settee, uh, no grouch couch, an anti malaise chaise. If you'd like me to keep going, send me an email at no one wants this at please stop biz. But if you'd like to know more about this research, click on the link below. And if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on social media, hey, we'd love that too. As always, I'm your host, Andrew Rosas, reminding you to stay hooked. <laughs>